Where in the Mongolian vast and wide steppe does the harmonious sound come from? It seems this sound gets louder when you reach closer to the beloved horse with long thick hair as a tail, which has been domesticated by nomads for thousands of years. If the sound really comes from the horse, where in the horse does it come from? Depending on their lifestyles or the places and conditions they lived, the humankind had been trying to make different sounds by hitting the wood and stones, piling a pipe, or making sound from the fire, and those are considered the base of the current musical instruments. Especially, an instrument made by the pulled two pieces of hair from the horse's tail and named Merenghor or the horse-headed fiddle, was created by nomadic Mongolians. It looks and sounds like a horse, and uh, you can make any different sounds of the world on only two-stringed Merenghor. As if they worshipped the horse in their state mind and flex, Mongolians worshipped the horse-headed fiddle's harmony in their heart and hang it on the wall of a respected area of their home. The nomads that gathered together to play Merenghor have been, for generations to generations, developing different mindset and philosophy on how they live and think due to their lifestyle, and it has been captured and immersed in the sound of the horse-headed fiddle, Mongolians say. Хоёр <laughs> It is one of the two reasons why you leave two pieces of hair from the horse tail when you tuck up the tail. There is a difference between the stallions of whom you can pick up the hair and make the merenghor. After finding the right one, you start delicately processing the hair and count and size them well. Mongolians use leather strap to pick the hair and head. Not only are the strings made by horse tail hair, but also the arc is made by the horse hair. While the nomads have been developing better ways to make merenghor along the way, they have been producing merenghor 
The sound can be well mixed with other musical instruments. Hide covered fiddles are as well made as the horse headed fiddle, and uh, Hung Music Company's fiddle creators are the biggest contribution to the work. зарах хялгсанд нь 120 билэгдэн 150 ингээ 270 болж байгаа шүү дээ. Тэгээд үлдсэн одоо тэр хялгсыг нь бол нумд нь хийсэн байгаа хгүй. Ингээд 360-аас 365 хялгсдаг байна. Яагаад тэр олон хялгс хийх болсон бэ гэдгийг л монголчууд ойлгосон байна. Тэр бичил авэ тасархай хотооны урсгалыг гаргах гэж л тэр хийсэн байна. Тэгээд тэрийг яг ямар учраас хийсэн бэ гэдэг зэрэг Монгол хүн энэ өртөнд өгөлд өөрөөхтэй хийх гэж. тэр монгол уртын дууны ноотыг ч ноотлоход хэцүү байлаа тэр монгол хүний дэр гарч байгаа авэ гэж дуургах хөгжим байх. Одоо жижиглэж одоо уртын дуу өгөхөд ингэж байгаа чаа. Ингэж л явна гэхээс биш яг нөгөө нэг хайлга цацлахны энэ төвлөр урд As I mentioned above, humankind has been trying to make a sound with anything close to them. Nomad Mongolians have been domesticating horse for 5 to 8,000 years, according to the signs. Horse neighing, cow mooing, camels bellowing and sheep baying are all immersed in the sound of Merenghor. Nomads notice that along with human, nature and animals enjoy and get praised by Merenghor's sound, and they play Merenghor for worshipping the nature and coaxing and easing the domesticated animals. The metal horn is made by wood and looks exactly like the horse head itself, and the eyes, ears, nose, and lips are carved by the shape of horse head. covered with camel, goat or sheep skin, in which case a small opening would be left in back. But since the 1970s, new all wood sound box instruments have appeared. It can be painted with nice patterns as well. Eko Hokjim is music. Urohori, Urwell. 
The horse-headed fiddle and its sound have been inherited by major Mongolian ethnic groups like Halakh, Sibri, Bayat and Durwood for the centuries. The Merenkhor instrument can make a sound of Mongolian horse different walks or sometimes, people even say when you hear Merin Hor plays, you can imagine in your eyes actions with the horse. хоёр одоо чогцс багц хялгасан дээр дуураад байгаа тэр дуу авиаг ашиглаад дэлхийн сонгодог гэж одоо 300 жилийн өмнө одоо хөгжөөд ирсэн дэлхий дахинаар одоо хүлэн зөвшөөрсөн одоо энэ сонгодог хөгжмийн дуу одоо энэ төгөлдөр хуурын одоо юу гэдэг юм энэ төгөлдөр хуур хөгжим дээр тоглодог одоо тэр л хонгийн дуу сенсанс одоо тэгэл европын бүхэл бүтэн том хэлбэрийн том зохиол бүтүүлүүдийг нөгөө хоёр чогцс маань мөн л дуурагчил байдаг However, how other noise or sound from not nomadic origin can still be heard on Merenghor perfectly.
It just proves how unique Merenghor is, and how Merenghor is not only for nomads, but also for the humankind around the world. The Merenghor became one of the masterpieces of the oral and intangible heritage of humanity identified by UNESCO. Furthermore, Mongolian current president put a decree on worshipping Merenghor and established an ensemble for only Merenghor. And the ensemble has been playing concerts around the world, including the stage of UNESCO. <laughs> 